after authoring three other books on hacking, has the world's most famous hacker run out of stories? Find out in my review of The Art of Invisibility by Kevin Mitnick. I'm Scott Schober, and coming to you from Zero Day Studios with your two-minute cybersecurity briefing special book review edition. In Kevin Mitnick's latest book, The Art of Invisibility, he turns his focus back to the darker side of hacking with less personal anecdotes and more warnings of things to come. And worse, things that are already here but invisible. In previous books such as The Art of Intrusion and The Art of Deception, Mitnick evokes the reader's instinct to stay safe and keep what's private truly private by warning them through his own experience in hacking. In Ghost in the Wires, Kevin stepped back a little from the technique and gave more insight into what drew him into this world initially and what cemented his name and reputation as an iconic hacker. The Art of Invisibility, Mitnick returns to his roots through a series of chapters, all forcing us to answer a single question. Do you value convenience over security? This category of books, blogs, and webinars was once replete with evidence and advice allowing us to walk the line between security and convenience. It was something attainable that diligent consumers could achieve. But through Kevin's painstakingly detailed explanations and numerous examples of how we are faced with security choices all day long, it feels like this compromise between convenience and security has become a tightrope walk on a razor wire. From the muddled terms and conditions we agree to when using mobile apps to the massive data collection efforts from the big tech and big government, Kevin walks readers through these complex relationships we have with technology with ease. In The Art of Invisibility, Mitnick has graduated from infamous hacker from the 90s to master showman, storyteller, and modern day cybersecurity luminary. I had the privilege of working with Kevin both on stage and behind the scenes so I can attest to his genuine knowledge and enthusiasm for all things related to hacking. His curiosity and pursuits such as magic and social engineering allows him to cajole secrets out of people and this translates effectively in his book. Like any good storyteller, Kevin first empathizes with and then subsumes the subject before him. In this case, the subject is his reader. Upon getting into your head, he can choose to either take advantage of you or help you. Fortunately, Kevin Mitnick has chosen the latter. He no longer hacks unwilling folks and instead spends his time revealing the psychology behind those who would do us harm and how to defend against them. Kemmer remains a rock star in the cybersecurity community, but I personally regard him more as a role model. Like all the books I enjoy, after purchasing this book, I went back and purchased the audiobook so that I could digest it again in a different form. This book has earned its place on my bookshelf, and that's why I give it five out of five stars. Stay safe.